Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, the 22nd week. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With it's important as we go through life that we let God be God. We let God do the things in life that sometimes we don't understand. But ultimately, in God's kingdom, a lot of wonderful things are going to happen. So as we begin, let's reflect on the challenges we have to bring God's kingdom into our imperfect, broken world. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it through Christ our Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men, who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit that is within? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given to us by God. And we speak about them not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ, the word of the Lord. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord, the Lord is, is just, just in all his ways. ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The, the Lord, Lord is just in all his ways. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom, your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The, the Lord, Lord is just, just in all his ways. ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The, the Lord, Lord is just, just in all his ways. ways. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to the Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath. and They were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you come to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, what is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> so in today's gospel, Jesus' word is very powerful. He commanded that unclean spirit to come out of that man, and it came out of him unharmed. So I thought about that and what to speak about this morning, and I thought, you know, each and every one of us has demons inside of us, whatever they may be, an addiction, different sins, different things that we're not proud of. And I think the gospel today speaks to that, and I think if we go towards Jesus and we let Jesus have a conversation with us and help us to overcome those different things, the sins and addictions and all those bad things that we have in us, I think we, we can get on with our lives we could get on to become who we are. So that's really the goal, to have those demons exercised from us and move on with our lives to be able to complete our mission on Earth. And I think each and every day, we need to just be a little bit better than the day before. 
We need to try to become the best version of ourselves and not compete with others and rely on Jesus for that love, that mercy, and that forgiveness that he also wants to give to us. He wants to come to us, to find us, to search for us, and drive those demons out of us. So reflect upon that. Stay safe, my brothers and sisters, and God bless. Let us now continue with these prayers. For our nation, may we continue to persevere and work together during these tough times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are finding life difficult, especially the victims of the hurricanes and the natural wildfires, let Jesus help bring them through their tough times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from any sicknesses, whether physical or mental, may God help to comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those on the front lines, the first responders who risk their lives for others, may Jesus comfort and heal them and protect them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to continue to bless us and to guide our parish family through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have spread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Amen. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, that what we offer may be an acceptable gift to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, love is our origin. Love is our constant calling. Love is our fulfillment in heaven. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Some of the way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Barbara Perino and Dorothy Kulba, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May you heal work, our Lord, free us from doing evil and lead us to do what is right through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.